Good morning. I am out here at 287 Emanuel Creek Drive in West Columbia. Uh, easy location to Fort Jackson. Uh, this is Lexington County One Schools. And I'm just going to do a pan of the neighborhood in this section so you can see what it's like. There's a noisy FedEx truck up there. Um, but you can tell this is on a corner lot, so you do have some good side yard here, and that may even be a, a double gate into the back. We'll go check that out in a little bit. Um, and I do want to point out on the, in this direction is how you would get to the entrance. And a lot of really nice homes are on that strip, but they're much tighter together. So th back here a little bit, there is more space in between these particular builds. So we will walk up here and also good fence line here. Um, looks like that there's a retaining wall because this is a raised lot. So I don't think you'll have much problem with flooding or needing French drains. All right, walking in, gonna do my best. To give you a good floor plan understanding, um, walk in to a very open space. We will check that hallway out in a minute. a little bit chilly in here so I hope I'm not too shaky in this video. You've got your dishwasher, sink with disposal, stove, microwave, built in. Those will stay for sure. large pantry not sure if the fridge will stay but it is something that we could ask for in an offer um, but dishwasher stove and microwave are automatic stepping outside you've got a nice covered porch which in South Carolina is really nice in our hot summers. Good sized backyard. They like to play frisbee golf it looks like. There is a single gate back here off of this patio and there is not a gate on this side but could, you could definitely add a double gate there Good storage in that closet. We've got 
got your half bath here. Tall ceilings. And then you come into your laundry and garage. There's good space in here. The garage has some shelving. Looks like they use it for storage. But looks like a pretty decent garage. Let's go check out the upstairs. The carpet is in good condition. It's in really good condition, actually. Um, the steps are in good condition. I do not smell pet. I do not smell anything foul. It's a very neutral house. I'm gonna turn some lights on. Okay, so from the top of the steps, you've got this open railing to your bedrooms. Master is directly up the steps. And you have a linen closet here. closet. Good size master bedroom and it has the coffered ceilings. Master bath. Got your soaker tub with the big window, it lets a lot of light in. And then your stand up shower. in a cute little girl's room. They are bright colors, but it is tastefully done. You've got a French door closet here. Another closet. Everything's looking good in here. Other things I'm looking at as I'm videoing are the ceiling, um, the baseboards, what the floor feels like. I don't see any water spots or areas of concern. And I guess I should have gone to this green room first just for the flow. But um, 
coming off the bathroom, you've got the green room. Overall, this seems to be a pretty good a little spot up there, but it doesn't look like a leak. They are frisbee golf fans. It's deep closet, also French door. But you've got some good floor space there. And then your fourth bedroom. Every bedroom could fit a queen size bed easily. And the master could fit a king. They all have good closets. And yeah, I think this is a really good market pick for the price, for the schools and the location. Um, you are right next door to an Ace Hardware store outside of the neighborhood. You are very close to a Walmart grocery center. Um, the skating rink is right around the corner. There's lots of stuff to do. And I hope that one of you will pick one this house. Talk to you soon.